Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, we're talking about anxiety, control, and surrender. And before I get to that, I want to take a moment to uh, read an email I received It's a beautiful thank you, and I want to say thank you to our listener, Eric, who sent me the following email and also sent a donation. Thank you so much, Eric. He says, Hi, Gina. Another terrific, super helpful podcast this week. I've been re-listening to this one and 326, Floating with Anxiety, and 333, Letting Time Pass, after trying to work through a recent bout of high anxiety. I foolishly Googled for more information in trying to reassure myself about bodily sensations and came across OCD tendencies, one of which was about paying attention to even more bodily sensations I hadn't considered, like over-focusing on blinking. Oh boy, did that send me down the OCD wormhole. So I spent time trying to accept it as a discomfort, not danger. I was just starting to have a period of days where I felt really good about it, barely noticing it all, along with my other anxiety sensations. Then bam, I had a relapse. Thanks to your podcasts above, I realized I haven't been tending to the underlying issues, body and mind stress. I've been so stressed out at work that I'm just continuously feeding the anxiety. I've had neck strain, shoulder strain, jaw strain. So thank you for getting me back on track. I know that with time and acceptance and starting new efforts at reducing these stresses on the body and the mind at work, I can start to feel good again. You are truly a gift for all you've done for me these past two months of high anxiety. I just made a donation to the show. Keep up the great work, Eric. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to write a letter and for your donation. We really appreciate it. And I hope you will keep finding uh, treasures in the episodes as they come along. You won't need to listen forever. But as you do, know that we really appreciate you. Thanks, Eric. So let's get going today about anxiety control and surrender. I had a client today who reminded me So I'm saying, thank you, Lydia. Lydia reminded me of um, a Byron Katie saying, you know, Byron Katie has a lot of great books out there, but one of her uh, ones that can really be helpful when you are struggling with anxiety is Loving What Is. So we got talking about that book and we got talking about Byron Katie and uh, Lydia reminded me of one of Byron Katie's sayings, which is my business your business, and God's business. And I want you to pay attention to that. That's what we've got out here in the world. We've got my business, your business, and God's business. And so we want to pay attention to what is our own business and what can we control. And uh, just like we recently addressed perfectionism with listener question and answer on uh, episode 556, pay attention to where your mind is going and whose business you are in. It goes along with being able to surrender because if we are busy mucking up uh, other people's business, we are, we are not surrendered. We are not, uh, surrendered at all. What we're trying to do is to control when we move outside our own circle of influence. So there's a key exercise in stoicism is distinguishing what's in our control and what 
isn't. Now, if you're not familiar with Stoicism, it's kind of like the Western equivalent to Buddhism. There's just a lot of, it's a philosophy, just like um, the most Buddhism that people talk about in the United States is um, usually Buddhist philosophy. So Stoic philosophy is also very interesting and along the same kind of lines of taking care of our own business, like Byron Katie talks about, and also about uh, distinguishing what is within our control and what isn't. And that's a key exercise in Stoicism. Actually, Ryan Holiday says the key exercise in Stoicism, according to Epictetus, was distinguishing what's in our control and what isn't. Our genetics are not in our control, but we are not prisoners of them. They are not an oracle. We control our diet and our exercise. We can control how our genetics express themselves and impact our lives. We also control whether we make smart decisions or dumb decisions, whether we take good care of ourselves or not. We are all mortal. Life is fragile, but that doesn't mean you have to leave all the control up to fate. You decide whether you're going to be healthy or not. You decide whether to make stupid decision or not. You decide the path you walk. Thank you, Ryan. I um, actually read quite a bit of his emails that come across my desk, and I've finished um, a number of his books along with Byron Katie's. I have like quite a wide variety of books that I dip into. Actually, in the long run, a lot of them are all saying the very same thing, just in different languaging. And this is about staying in our own state of being and surrendering ourselves to life, not to another person or surrender is a funny word. People get a little bit worked up about it sometimes. What if we were to surrender? What if instead of trying to control and manipulate everything into our own idea of perfection, like we were talking about in episode 556, perfectionism, doing everything right, doing the tools and practices we talk about here right, and working ourselves up into an anxious frenzy over it. What if we were to surrender instead? What if we were to actually let go? What would that look like? What is it that uh, like Ryan Holiday or Epictetus um, or Byron Katie are talking about, um, what does what this surrendering mean? Where is it that we are only staying in our own control, uh, things that we can control? And we do, instead of trying to control and manipulate everything, you see, all we can do is do our best and then we let it go. And our best is got to be good enough. There's uh, another another key little phrase you can keep in your back pocket is good enough. This is good enough because there is no perfection. So you may want to remember at this point, at this time in my life, this is good enough. So what if instead of trying to control and manipulate everything into our own idea of perfection, what if we surrendered? And by that, I mean like being fully present in this moment that's surrendering because we control is about in the future. We are trying to make an outcome happen, but surrender is being fully present with this moment, experiencing the sensations of this moment and being curious about it. It might look like acceptance of how things are. It might look like Loving What Is, which is the title of uh, Byron Katie's, one of her books. We can begin to do this by pausing, by actually relaxing into the moment. And that means being with the moment. When we are trying to control things, um, we are out of our body. We are in our minds trying to make something happen that is not here in this moment. So the medicine for that is to be in the moment instead of, of um, trying to change things into what we want them to be. So just come back into the present moment because the present moment 
is just what it is. There's you, you can't control it. It's not anything but what it is. And when you get there, when you have experienced that, you will understand what I'm saying. So I want you to practice going there. This is the real live letting go. And this can save you so much energy and life force by just letting yourself be in the present moment and letting go of the control. Control is about taking care of an, something that's going to be an outcome. And the outcome is in the future. When we come to the present moment, there's nothing but what is. Nothing but what is. And so we work and we have goals, we have desires, but it does matter where these are coming from, our work, our goals, our desires, where are they coming from? So just check in and see if you are working toward something for the good of it, or are you doing it out of fear? We cannot outrun the fear. And if that is where our control and need to change things is coming from, we will only get tired. We will get actually exhausted as the fear cannot be outrun. It will always be right there in front of us. This then is a good place to instead surrender and feel the fears that are coming up. Give yourself some self-love with all its challenges and difficulties, pains, and fears. Come into this present moment and see if for just a moment you can be loving what is. The simplicity of this simple moment. Can you love it? Can you love what is? Working on our life from surrender, accepting what is versus fear can make a huge difference. We can't outrun the fear, so it'll always be there and we'll always be dealing with it. We'll be fighting with it. But when we surrender, when we accept what is, we gain energy, we gain vital life force, and then we can work from there. That's where we can work on our goals, our desires, but it's not coming from a place of fear. We see things that need to be changed and we want to change them for the good. And so we do, but we are not trying to control things out of fear. So here are some tips that may help you find the ability to surrender in your own life. First, let your body be your guide. Feel in your body what there is. There's no need to change it. Feel what in your body, what is right there. No need to change it. Just feel it. Be with it. See if your body and the feelings that you have in your body, change. see if those, those feelings change when you let go of the need to control or change it. See if it morphs or moves. Next, move from the judgment of thoughts and feelings to being curious about them. So we're not going to judge our thoughts and feelings, but we're going to try to be curious about them. No need to control everything. That's where the judgment comes in. Just try being curious. Isn't that interesting? That phrase has given me so much peace. I hope that you will take it up yourself. Isn't that interesting? I have no judgment on it. I'm not trying to control it or change it. I just see it for what it is and find it interesting. I may even be curious about it, want to know more, but no judgment, no need to control. And finally, see the world through fresh eyes. I love this. And I was reminded of this recently. We had a family friend visit the island for the first time. And I saw what I take for granted on a daily basis. I saw it through their eyes. And it made everything seem like such a glorious delight. So I hope that you can take these tips and maybe try to see where you can relax into the present moment a little bit more and let go of the control and just let yourself surrender a little bit more. 
I hope this has been helpful for you. And I look forward to hearing from you if you have a question you would like to have answered on an episode. Send it to anxietycoachespodcast at gmail.com. And now for today's quote. I am a lover of what is, not because I am a spiritual person, but because it hurts when I argue with reality. And that's from Byron Katie. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com. 